Hey everybody, it's Michael. So you need to make screenshots for an iPhone or an iPad app. It sucks. It is a thankless job and with the many different size requirements, it's a job that can easily take a lot longer than you'd like. Well, I've made some templates that try to make the job a little bit easier. In this video, I'll show you a quick rundown of how to use this type of template. I'll be showing you my iPhone screenshot template, but the concept is the same for my similar templates. The challenge when making screenshots is to create multiple sizes that are needed for showing your app on the various devices. The goal here is to minimize the amount of manual labor in this process so you can focus more on creating a great presentation of your app. When you've downloaded a screenshot template, you'll see three files. The main PSD file, the actions file, the ATN file, and the readme file. Now let's go ahead and open up Photoshop. The first thing we want to do is import the actions file, the ATN file. A lot of people forget this step. Double click the ATN file. What you'll see is that it's added to your actions pane in Photoshop, iPhone screenshot template, two actions. Great, we'll get back to those. Now let's open up the main PSD file. In here, you'll see the multiple sizes required for the devices we're making screenshots for. The whole idea is to edit the largest size and have the other sizes rendered automatically. Now, how do we do that? We use smart objects. Now find the layer called edit me and save in the layers pane out here. Right click and hit edit contents. This opens up the screenshots PSB file. Now you can feel free to just paste your screenshot in here and call it a day. However, as you can see, I have also included an iPhone in here. Some people like to show their screenshots within an actual device, often capping off the entire shot with a small text snippet explaining what the app does. So I have tried to provide the resources to do just that. To facilitate this, I've included yet another smart object within the screenshots PSB file. I know, Inception. Find the layer in the Layers pane called Place Your Screenshot Here and hit Edit Contents. Now you can paste your screenshot in here and hit Save. Let's just do that. Now you'll see that your screenshot has been placed and scaled within the iPhone. What's that you say? Your favorite iPhone is the gold iPhone. No problem. I've included the other colored options. You'll find them hidden in the Layers pane here. That's space gray. Let's just turn on gold. Let's just add a text. Notice there's a crop guide included in the screenshots PSB file, this red area here. That basically just shows where the screenshot will be cropped for 3.5 inch devices, like the iPhone 4 and 4S. You'll have to hide that yourself when you're exporting your screenshots. You'll find it in the layers pane here. Just click the little eye and it'll go away. That looks good. Hit save, close it up. And now you'll see all the different sizes rendered in the main template file. It even has this cool little app store preview. Let's export this screenshot. Find the action called export single screenshot and hit play. Boom, done. That places a folder called iPhone screenshot files on your desktop. Open that up and you'll see all the different sizes in here. Perfect. Okay, that was a single screenshot exported in four different sizes, but most of us bundled five different screenshots. No problem. Let me show you how to do that. Let's go back into the screenshots PSB file and edit contents. Now, you may have noticed that out here in the layers pane, there's a couple of different folders. Screenshot one, which we've been working on so far. Screenshot two, three, four, and five. Let's just go ahead and hide screenshot one and you'll see that screenshot two is actually a clean slate with the same assets as you saw before. Let's go right ahead and paste a screenshot in here. Save that. Let's add a text. Screenshot number two. Now let's just for the sake of argument say that I also create the three, four and five screenshots. I'm not gonna do that. It's gonna take way too long for you guys to sit and watch me do that, but this will get the point across. Before you close everything up, make sure that all the screenshot folders are visible. To make sure that this rather complex action works, do not rename these folders. Do not place any layers outside of the folders. Just make sure to place all your artwork inside these folders to the corresponding screenshots. Let's go ahead and save this and close it down. Find the actions pane, find the action called export five screenshots, all sizes, and hit play. Now this action might take a little bit longer. It's pretty complex and to be honest, quite a few things can go wrong. Great, on the desktop, you'll find the iPhone screenshots files folder again. And in here you'll find 
subfolders one through five, each of them with the different sized screenshots. Let's just check that this looks right. That's the first screenshot we made. And that's the second screenshot we made and so on. Now, I hope this template helps you spend less time dealing with resolutions and exports and helps you make better screenshots. You can get these files from appicontemplate.com and that's also where you'll find my other templates. Now go make some stuff. Feel free to follow me on Twitter at Flarup, F-L-A-R-U-P. And if you're visiting from somewhere else, you can get these templates from appicontemplate.com. Thanks for watching.